Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at again with another New York Giants video, another coaching update video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the new addition to the coaching staff in Derek Dooley and also the one I missed in Kevin Scherer that happened over the weekend. Missed it because I was busy. And right after that, I'm going to ask you guys to please stick around because I do have a, a relatively important channel update that I'll put at the end of the video. So please do stick around after I talk about the coaches. Now, with that being said, let's get in right into it. So the Giants have uh, added on Derek Dooley to their coaching staff, former head coach of Tennessee, not just any Tennessee, D Tennessee Volunteers, the alma mater of Peyton Manning, you know, a huge college football program. But more recently, also the uh, quarterbacks and offensive coordinator coaches of Missouri and NFL-wise, the Dallas Cowboys former wide receivers coach. Now, on Derek Dooley, right now what's being reported as some type of uh, offensive assistant coach because before, you know, actually right as the first reports were coming out, it was speculation he might be the tight ends coach, but then also some reports are coming out confirming, you know, articles and whatnot from the beat writers that Freddie Kitchens will be made the tight ends coach, which I think I mentioned in my uh, Kitchens video when we hired him. I said, if he's not coming on as an assistant head coach, he's going to be on here as a tight ends coach. And I was right, he is. So Dooley is coming on here and he has good experience. He has great experience. I love his resume, to be frank with y'all. Um, and I think he could be a great addition as a offensive assistant or even an assistant head coach. But, you know, let, let's leave it as offensive assistant right now because I feel like Garrett would fill in that assistant head coach spot. Although somebody in one of my last videos told me that that was already filled. Let me know down below who that was filled by. But Dooley has a stellar resume. He was first a coach um, at Georgia. And that is the Georgia Bulldogs football team. Then he was a wide receivers coach at SMU Mustangs. Then a tight ends coach at LSU. From LSU, he got promoted to a uh, running back special teams and assistant head coach type of job. And then he moved on to the Miami Dolphins, his first uh, NFL career stint as a tight ends coach there. Then to Louisiana Tech as the head coach. Then Tennessee as the head coach for two years. He didn't exactly have too much success but he does have the experience there with him then back to the nfl with the dallas cowboys where is where where which is where damn i can't speak <laughs> which is where he spent his longest uh coaching duties for almost five years from 2013 to 2017 as their wide receivers coach and then lastly missouri as their quarterback slash offensive coordinators coach now listen the reason i like this guy coming on as an offensive assistant is because i think because as you can see, he basically has played, or I guess you could say he's basically has coached all over the offense except for the offensive line. I feel like he'll do a great job in helping out each of those positions there. He'll do a good job at the quarterback position, although I think we're really nicely set with Garrett and Chaplinski and also Kitchens to an extent. I definitely believe he's going to have a good impact on the wide receivers position because with the Cowboys when he was there, the two names that come to me immediately from that time period, Des Bryant and Cole Beasley. That uh, from 2013 to 2017, that was really Des Bryant's prime on that team. And I definitely believe Dooley has something to do with it um, as he was the wide receivers coach there. And not to mention the development of the undrafted Cole Beasley, who became a really solid number two receiver and is now with the Bills as their solid number two, maybe even fringe number one option. But I think that he could have a great impact on guys like Darius Slayton. I believe he can have a good impact on Sterling Shepard. Uh, maybe help him, you know, you know, find new ways how to stay safer and stay more healthy on the team. And other more depth guys like Reggie White, who we've been waiting to see on the field. Maybe whoever we take in the draft or free agency and whatnot. I just believe he's going to have a great impact on the wide receiver room and the tight ends room. Because I think he's going to be working hand in hand with Kitchens also, who I, I trust. I do trust Freddie Kitchens as our tight ends coach to do great things there with whoever we keep on board. I I want to say Caden Smith, maybe Rhett Elson, maybe we let Rhett Elson go, but I don't know if we're taking back Evan Ingram. Um, yeah, but with that being said, I, I like the hire of Derek Dooley, and let me just hop into uh, the hire of Kevin Scherer. And I'm kind of spending, you know, like short amount of times on them because, like I said, I do have an update to give you guys. But Kevin Scherer, this was announced, like I said, over the weekend. 
He's a former inside linebacker coach at Tennessee. Once again, Tennessee again. Uh, both of these guys had connections with Joe Judge, by the way, if I didn't mention it. And or Jason Garrett. I believe Dooley has the connection with Garrett, obviously. And Kevin Scherer has the connection with Joe Judge as he was once at Alabama. And with that being said, let me go over his resume real quick. Once again, another very impressive resume. He was um former college tight end for Crimson Tide as a player, where he helped them win two SEC division titles from 1993 to 1995. He has a bachelor's in physical education, a master's in higher education administration, very similar to Judge, who, you know, going that education route trying to get a PhD or maybe already has a PhD in that route. Uh, another very, you know, well put together, very intelligent coach here. And after uh, Scherer got his master's, he began his coaching career as a defensive assistant at Tuscaloosa County High School. Then he moved to a graduate assistant to Alabama in 98. In 2001, he returned to the high school coaching ranks in Spain Park before jumping over to Hoover High School. So as you can tell, this guy really has had a lot of high school you know, experience along with his coaching here. For essentially about 10 years of his career from 96 to 09 so for 13 years of his career he spent as a high school coach and then he went back to uh alabama as the director of player development in 2009 so he spent a lot of time just developing his base skills his fundamentals before once again heading back to another you know upper echelon of coaching where of course you know uh he has a hand in those alabama championships and the dynasty this is around the time they started to rise like i said the director of player development until 2012 then he moved to South Alabama as their defensive coordinator and defensive backs coach, to the Georgia Bulldogs as their outside linebackers coach, to Tennessee as their defensive coordinator, then to special teams coach and inside linebackers coach, and now he's here with the Giants. Fun fact, he has had experience and has coached Lorenzo Carter. Now he will be coaching our inside linebackers, so that just bring up the interesting question, can Carter possibly be moved to the inside linebacker position or are they going to try and keep him out there with our new outside linebackers coach and see how he develops. This is not a new concept. I have said it since the beginning of the season. In fact, I made a whole video on it around week four, week four or five when um basically all of our linebacking corn went down and I said, move Lorenzo Carter to the middle linebacker spot. He has the skills for it. He has the speed, the agility, the great hand-eye coordination. I believe he can seamlessly move into a middle linebacker type of um position or even be used between, you know, between the two, uh, you know, kind of versatile. He can be used as both. Uh, this definitely brings up that question as Scherer has had experience coaching Carter. Maybe he could unlock some type of untapped potential that we haven't tapped into yet with him. But much like uh, Derek Dooley, I like the Kevin Scherer hire. These are two hires that are really good. Uh, I'm really into them. I like the fact that they're very familiar with the coaching staff already and with the systems. And I like the fact that they have, to be frank with y'all, stacked resumes. Let me know what you think down below. Now, like I said, I had to keep it quick because I do have a big update for y'all. Here it is. If you stayed until the end, thank you for doing so. I want to start real quick. I appreciate all my subscribers. I thank you guys a lot. Uh, without you, this channel wouldn't be possible. Now then, I just started back my college semester, my new college semester. And unlike uh, last year, it's going to be almost a year since I've started the channel. And unlike the last spring semester, where I kind of had a lot of time to make videos and essentially start off this YouTube channel, I won't have that much time going into this spring semester because of just the type of classes that I'm taking, you know? You know, you do take your 100 level classes, your 200 level classes. Right now, I'm gonna be taking my 300 level classes in my uh, comp side major. And well, it's just not gonna be easy. Uh, to keep it real with y'all, they're frankly really difficult classes and I know I'm gonna need to devote a lot of time and effort to them, which is gonna take away from the channel. I'm not saying that I'm going to stop making videos or anything, it's just that you're going to see a lot less videos from me than uh, you've seen in the past month or so. And I just want to give you guys a heads up because I might not be, you know, on top of things as you can see with this video. Had I had the time, it would have come out immediately, but it's coming out a bit later in some aspects. I'm still going to put out Giants Talk videos and all that. When OTAs come out, I, I think around that time. I'll have a little break from school where I could like really focus on OTAs for a week or so, but it's going to be kind of scarce, you know, it's going to be kind of scarce a little bit. You're probably going to see like one, two videos a week at most from me 
and I just want to let you guys know that like once again I'm not ending the channel or anything it's just I won't have as much time to do anything and want to let you guys know if I ever am a little bit late on use that will be why or if I you guys ever only get one vid a week from me it's because I'm just busy with school you know what I mean I'm currently working on a, um, free agents videos who to sign you guys saw the who to cut video yesterday or uh, as soon as I finish that I got working on the who to sign video that will probably be out sometime next week and we'll take it from there on out you know we'll, we'll see how it goes but I thank you guys for your continued support and like I said just a heads up I want you to let you know that's it for now I'm out you're Alright guys, thanks for watching, put your comments down below, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Eer.